Hey guys, welcome to the seventh tutorial in my How to Use SynthEdit series. In this video, I'm going to look further into the ADSR2 module. The ADSR2 is a very useful module and can be used for lots of different things. But first, we need to understand four parameters the attack, decay, sustain, and release. There's a plug for each of these parameters on the ADSR2, so let's go ahead and set up some sliders to control these values. Okay, now connect each of the signal out plugs to the four plugs on the ADSR2. Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. Now, I'm going to rename each of these sliders so we can remember where it goes. Attack, Decay, Sustain, and release. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to turn everything to zero. If I press a key now, you just hear a little click. The first parameter we need to discuss is the attack. I have a graphic here that will help visualize what I'm saying. So when you first press a key down, the attack phase begins. The attack is the amount of time it takes for the signal to go from silent to full volume. The higher the attack level, the longer the note will fade in. So if I turn the attack up and play a note, you can hear it fade in. If I turn it higher and play a note, it takes even longer to fade in. When the note reaches its full volume, the attack phase has concluded. When the attack phase is complete, we enter the decay phase. The decay is just like the attack, but only in reverse. This is the amount of time it takes for the note to go from full volume to zero volume. I should note that the gate is sending voltage, which is controlling the volume in this case. You could use this voltage to control other things as well, such as pitch. Anyways, when I press the key, the note fades in during the attack phase, it reaches full volume, and it begins the decay phase, and fades out. If I turn the decay up, it fades out for a longer period of time. Simple enough. Next up is the sustain parameter. This one is a little different because unlike the other three parameters, attack, decay, and release, which are all time-based values, sustain is a constant level. Sustain is the minimum level the signal will fall to during the decay stage. Right now, the sustain is set to zero, so the decay phase concludes when the signal is null. If I turn the sustain up and press a key, the decay phase only fades until it hits the sustain level at which point it will sustain indefinitely until you release the key. Release is another time-based parameter, and it specifies the time it takes the signal to fade to zero. If it's set to zero, like it is now, when I release the key, the signal is immediately cut off. If I turn it up, the signal fades over a greater period of time. Turn it up all the way, and the notes ring for a long time. So, to review, when you press a key, the attack phase begins. It concludes when the volume has reached its maximum level. Once that happens, the decay phase begins, and the signal fades until it hits the sustain level. At this point, the signal holds strong until you release the key, at which point the release stage goes into effect, and the signal will begin fading out to zero. 
This is how an ADSR envelope works. There are two other plugs on the ADSR2, trigger and overall level. What the trigger does is when a voltage is passed into the trigger plug, the gate will reopen from the start of the attack decay sustain release sequence. Even if you are still holding the key down, it restarts the sequence. Overall level is what controls the peak of the attack phase, basically taking the place of the volume control we deleted earlier. So let's add a knob control. and connect it to the overall level plug. Rename it to Volume. Now I have control over the peak level that the signal fades to before entering into the decay phase. So that should cover everything you need to know about the ADSR envelope gate. Remember, you can use this to automate many different values. Anything that takes a voltage control signal can be automated using this gate. Please rate and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.